Kyle Ferguson, who's uh, dad. Barry is here today watching him. Ball's uh, given away. It's picked up. It's a good ball in behind. It's played across. It's a great opportunity. It's a goal. No, it's not. A magnificent clearance. Well Toby Malarkey thought we thought he'd knock that into his own goal. Onto the post. Looked like it was going over the line. But great recovery by Malarkey. And he's cleared the danger there. Remarkable escape. That was, heart was in my mouth at that point. Here's Colclough, this is getting end to end now. Decent shot by Colclough, just wide of the far post and a chance for both sides in uh, the half. Eddie Jones is holding his hand up there because he got caught a little bit out of uh, position and when the ball was pulled across, it was Malarkey. For me, that was an, it looked an own goal all the way. I was surprised when it hit the inside of the post, but he recovered superbly and cleared the ball. What an escape. Oh, definitely. It just kind of trickled and trickled and he managed to just get it that last second. Nice ball by Halls. Find Hancock. Here's Colclough. Plenty of space. Looks like he's going to have a straight shot. Oh, lovely shot. Great save. Moved about in the air that. And credit to Azaz. He's watched it all the way, but magnificent effort. Um, Cole Clough had a lot of space then. They gave him too much space, but an amazing shot. Um, keeper did really, really well with the curl that was on that ball. Here's Mooney with the corner. Oh, and another chance hits the bar from Malarkey. I think Azazi might have just got something on that and just maybe got fingertips against the bar, but it's another fantastic chance. Brilliant delivery by Dan Mooney. And Toby Malarkey has gone very, very close at either end. Ball clears. Should be okay for Jones. Looking to get it back to his keeper and does so. Very calm at the back there for Moltringham. Yeah, Eddie Jones is, uh, for a young player, he does sh show a lot of, he's show maturity beyond his years. We've got a lot of confidence in Tony Thompson to pass it back. He makes himself available. He does. Here's Colclough. Marshall's isolated a bit. Colclough's through him. Chance here. Comes across. Oh, no! A crossbar! It's the crossbar from Dan Mooney. So we've hit the woodwork three times now. It's becoming a remarkable series of events. But Colclough had a quarter of the pitch to play with there. It's round Marshall with ease. Pulls it across. Mooney with the left foot shot, hits the crossbar, and once again, the Bees have got away with it there. Here's Hall, good play, but fine play from Andy White. He's come across, cleared the danger. Colclough picks up a ball well. Marriott. Hancock to Osborne, Oxingham building again chances galore in this game neither defence looking particularly comfortable Altrincham is looking more comfortable than Barnett's but uh, surely only a matter of time before the Robins take the lead here's Mooney here's Cole Hall great shot no! yes sir it's Dan Mooney and Altrincham have taken the lead Wonderful, wonderful strike. Very similar to the goal that he scored. His first goal of the season against Dover Athletic. And Altrium have taken the lead and no more than we deserve. Oh, that was an excellent goal. And it was excellent work there by Cole Hall. Yet again, holding it up and just laying it off, waiting for Mooney to position himself. But a brilliant strike. Great attacking play there from Altrincham. Brilliant, brilliant uh, football. It's been excellent so far from Altrincham. It felt like the first goal was coming. It felt like it was coming for Altrincham. It has done, and it's come from Dan Mooney's. Having a great season, wonderful strike. No chance for Azaze, and Altrincham lead by a goal to nil. Oh, that's a great turn from uh, Hancock. Again, Colclough's available. Colclough cuts inside. Marriott, nice play by Marriott, decent shot. Got to be about 
40 yards sometimes between Marshall and Mason uh, Clark and he's just not helping out his defence at all and whilst he's very good coming forward he's causing Barnett some major problems Andy White uh, tries to shepherd that out and he's gone out for a uh, corner Teddy Howe has uh, done well there and uh, won his side a corner but here's uh, another right footed in swinging uh, corner they have looked quite dangerous in these Thompson's up for that one, punches again, and it's a great save by Thompson. Didn't look too comfortable, but he's really getting the accolades of his uh, teammates there. The corner came in, Thompson half dealt with it. It fell to that man, Marshall, and he shot from close range. Superb block by uh, Tony Thompson. Here's Mason Clark. But two men for company, Marriott helping out. Eddie Jones, Clark still with the ball. Hall. Cross comes in, it's headed clear by Andy White. Howe appeals for handball. Not given, I think, quite rightly. Here's Hall. Mason Clark, challenge from uh, Eddie Jones. It's a little bit clumsy, and the delivery's been good so far. Pulled across. Oh, it's a great save again. Another fantastic save. Good uh, set piece move. Played in. The first effort was flicked on by Mason Clark. But great reactions from Tony Thompson. And he saved us again. I think Elliot Osborne had a, a say in that as well. I seem to think it looks like from here that it came off him as well. But Thompson got the first touch, then Osborne managed to clear it out. I think that's the key word they do, they complement each other, which they need to in playing as a, as a team. There's another huge shirt tug on, on, on um, Hancock there by Howe, but Altrincham still in possession. Dinked in, Hancock heads it back, comes out to Hall. That's a great strike by Cole Hall. Unfortunately for him, straight at Azaze, who makes a comfortable save, but lovely football once again. Lovely um, bring down there by Isaac Marriott. Just a soft touch to set him up and a good strike, but just unfortunate to be straight at the keeper. Here's Hall again. He's had a really good half. Here's Cole Clough. Altrincham's football is a joy to watch at times. Osborne back to uh, Jones. Jones to Cole Clough. Cuts inside. Turns. Got a chance to shoot, does, good save again by Zazi. Again, the ball moved in the air. Altium still in possession. Mooney picks it up. Andy White, is there a second goal here for the Reds? Here comes uh, Jones. Jones to Colclough. Oh, nice, nice feet by Colclough. Marshall, well, it looked as if Marshall was a nailed on foul, but the referee sees it otherwise. Marshall's looking for Mason Clark. Marriott's. He's biting away at his heels, but here's Mason Clark. Chance for a shot, always going uh, wide of the goal. That but was um, definitely a foul. It looked Cole it, Clough. didn't it? Yeah. I think the referee just felt sorry for Marshall because Cole Clough had had the better of him for the whole of this half. Osborne, that's a good ball to Mooney, and Mooney's onto it. Wins the corner there, lovely play down the right-hand side. Elliot Osborne, inch-perfect ball. The run time superbly. One minute of added time, so... Uh, oh, in goes... Uh, oh, Malarkey, another chance! The ball went past, the corner went past Ferguson, fell to Malarkey, recycled it, cleared off the line. More drama, Toby Malarkey still hasn't got his goal. And Barnett still only one goal behind. You're watching Ulti TV with Brian Flynn and Lucy Lai. It's Altrincham 1, Barnett 0. The goal scorer, Dan Mooney, after 22 minutes. That's a good challenge in from Eddie, uh, from Isaac Marriott, rather. And here's, uh, here's Cole Clough. That's a great effort, decent effort, decent save. Marriott's link-up play is excellent and it's well worked out to Powell. Powell's looking to attack White and he has done and it's hit the crossbar again! 
And is it Mason Clark? The cross from uh, Powell and Mason Clark was in there. It's hit the crossbar, bounced on the line and out again. Mason Clark gets a bit of a, a friendly pat from Tony Thompson and the chance is lost, but more more drama. The space to attack and Altrium now looking to, to build on uh, the one goal lead that they have. 50th minute here at the J. Davidson Stadium. Here's Eddie Jones, Cole Clough. Great shot, just beyond the far post and Ryan Cole Clough. Oh, that's good uh, play. But uh, picked up, loose ball's picked up by De Havilland. Bonguk, Mason Clark, Hall. This is good by Barnett. Marriott's a brilliant, oh, that's a magnificent goal. Absolutely stunning goal. Brilliant finish by Marriott. But the build-up play was absolutely sublime. And Tony Thompson, he's been completely beaten in the air there because he's ended up on the left-hand side, and he's, he's injured himself. This is very, very worrying. But he's just not been able to pick the flight of the ball. A good goal from some patient play from Barnett. They passed it round very nicely, but the ball was all over the place. Thompson had no chance. Here's how. Good little spell this uh, for the bees. Powell. Done a good job down the left hand side. Fonguk. That's a good ball. De Havilland pulls it across. Great clearance. Terrific clearance by uh, Kyle Ferguson because of an excellent uh, delivery. Barnett now on the attack through Powell. Looks at Perry. It pulls the ball across. The clearance from. Uh, Jones and Thompson's done really well with a brave, brave punch. I think he winded Eddie Jones with that punch. <laughs> I think he certainly did, but that was a great clearance by uh, Kyle Ferguson because Powell did really well. He's got a dangerous uh, delivery in. Is there a bit of magic from Pringle? Osborne. It's an interesting ball to Mooney. Perrett, Osborne. Mooney dinks in the cross, up goes Hall, it's just wide, it's over and wide. Good move by Altrigan there, Osborne, Perrett, Mooney, the cross came in. Good leap by uh, Cole Hall, but didn't get the uh, right contact and direction, and eventually it was comfortably wide. Here's how. This will be the last throw of this game that is it it is finished as it finished at the hive in january it's finished altrigan one barnet one in front of 1864 104 barnet fans here entertaining game probably a draw ultimately just about the right uh, result dan mooney scoring for altrigan after 22 minutes and a wonderful equalizer from adam marriott after three 53 minutes for the bees.